Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahullah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, Bashim, or Kwakudash, double on instead, Apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom and honors to you, brothers out there on the highways and byways. You know, that's noise in this road abroad all around the world. And Shalom to you, few sisters out there listening in silence. Do the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai. So I want to get into this. Um, this truth is not man made. You know, as you know, most people, you know, on the outside, you know, look it in, you know, deems it to be. Actually, this truth is spiritual and it's holy because really it's the most high. Now, the Israelites are now coming back to who they are, you know. <laughs> You know, the Israelites, the true people of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is now starting to wake up and come back, you know, to who they truly are as biblical Hebrew Israelites, you know. But here it is, you got people that disagree, you know, such as people like Vocab Malone and all these other, you know, people that come up that come up against the truth. You know, that come up against, you know, in particular, the men of Great Millstone from the head apostles of GMS on down and the affiliates. That, you know, that we're not the people and that we're not, um, you know, we're not the Lord's people and that we're, we're just, you know, we're just niggas, spicks, and wetbacks. You know, that's what they, you know, that's what they look at us as. But truth be told, is that we are the true people of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. We are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. And really there's nothing nobody could say or gang say about it because the proof is already in the pudding. pudding. You know, pursuant to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, you know, who does those curses fit? Those curses don't fit any other nation on this planet but the nation of Israel which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians. In particular, you know, from the tribe of Judah, you know, the, the southern kingdom, you know. So these curses don't fit any other nation that's on this planet. And this, this is the thing with, you know, pe people such as Fo Fo Cat Malone and, you know, the other, you know, the other flunkies, you know, that come up against this truth. They can't pinpoint, you know, or they can't give any evidence or any um, concrete proof, you know, you know, using the scriptures, you know, to prove that we're not the people, you know, you know, they, they can't prove it, you know, they, they want to gang say and say that we're not, but the problem is they don't have any proof, they don't, they don't have the proof or, or the knowledge or the way it's, or the understanding, you know, to prove that we're not, you know, according to um, scripture, you know, all they could do is just, you know, tap dance and, you know, get it, get all in their feelings about, you know, the whole situation. But um, let me get the scripture right here real quick. Um, I'm going to start with the book of Revelations, chapter 11, verse Let me start at um, 8. Alright, so this is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in that great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was cru crucified. So, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, their do dead bodies shall lie in the streets, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And what is that um, great city? America. You know, Babylon the Great. You know? Because America... It's, it's just one big city. And the scriptures are saying, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. Why is it why why is this place called spiritually called Sodom in Egypt? Because of homosexuality. Where now, you know, homosexuality in America is at an all time high. And Egypt is because um of slavery. You know, because the word Egypt means bondage, you know. I mean slavery you know we were in the past Egypt you know as slaves and real quick let me just jump over to um, into Psalms 
to um, Deuteronomy 68, <coughs> um, 28 and 68. So this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. So it reads, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by a way wherefore I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. So, how did the so-called Negro get here to America? They got here by way of ships, you know. And that voyage, you know, of um, Jake, you know, actually coming over here, you know, was done by way of commerce, you know. By way of trade that's why it's called the, the transit Atlantic slave trade you know where these Arabs got together with the Hamites and they sold us over here to the so-called white man you know as slaves which is recorded you know in the book of Joel you know let's, let's prove that you know? and that only happened to the so-called Negroes you know Jake you know and also, too, the Northern Tribe also went through it too because the first slave ships came out of Spain, and they were, um, and the Northern Tribes, such as Gad, and um, were were also being um, traded too, was also being, you know, shipped from one end to the earth up unto another. So pretty much all the tribes went through, went through this atrocity. We're the only nation of people that actually went through this atrocity, you know. So real quick, let me jump to. Um, Joel So this is the book of Joel This is the book of Joel chapter 3 verse um, 1 And it reads For behold in those days and in the time When I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem you see, the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Who, who is that? You know, starting with the southern kingdom, you know, which is which consists of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you know, the so called blacks, and Jerusalem, which are the rest of the other tribes, you know, from Ephraim, you know, which are the so called Hispanics and Native Assembly Indians. <coughs> so, the Lord said that we will, we will bring again the captivity. So we're in that captivity right now. You know, in the nations, in particular the so called white men. I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley, into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered amongst the nations and part of my land. So we're scattered amongst these nations, you know, so this is more proof that, you know, Israel. Are, is amongst all these other nations and that's why they known as strangers because they were scattered amongst the nations you know? so, there you there you there you go and parted my land and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink so here's the point right here um first four yea and what have ye and what ye have to do with me or Tyre and Zidon and the whole coast of Palestine, you know? Which are the, um, the Hamites and um, the Arabs. Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly, um, if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, I will return your recompense upon your own head. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried away into your temples and my good and pleasant things you see so the Hamites got together with the um, Arabs and they sold us into slavery you know verse 6 the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem ye have sold unto the Grecians that ye may remove them far from their borders and wasn't we we removed far from our borders because we were over there in the east, you know, and we came over here, and now we're over here in the west now, in the western hemisphere, you know, dwelling here, 
in the Western Hemisphere. You know? So here you have it, you have that account, you know, where we were sold. And who did that happen to? That happened to this, the, the um, Israel, you know, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Assimilal Indians. You know, so this truth is not man-made, this is just the truth, you know. And we're just pinpointing, you know, the history. So let's go on to, um... Let's go back to Revelations now. So this is Revelations um, 11 and um, eleven and 9. So we just proved that, you know, that this land over here is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, you know, which is America, you know, which we came over here. So, um, verse 9, And they of the people and Kendricks and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their bodies to be put in grave. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall give, send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwell upon the earth yeah because we were at one point in time we were ruling over these other nations you know we had these other nations subjecting subjection you know and you know you know under the, underneath the time between underneath the time of king david you know and um king solomon you know you had 40 years of war with king king david you know, and then all these nations were subjected and then had 40 years of peace with King Solomon, you know. So they were, these nations were catching all kind of hell, you know, under our rulership. So now that we're down, you know, the Most High put us down for breaking the laws. Now they're, you know, gathering gifts and being married to one another now. And, and, and it's, you know... This is why I really, um, when you go to, um, real quick, when you go to Psalms, the 83rd chapter, you know, it, it tells you that, you know. So Psalms chapter 83 Psalms chapter 83 and I'm going to start at 1 so it reads keep not thou silent o, o God you know Yahweh and hold not thy peace and be not still O Yahweh for lo thy enemies made a tumult and they that hate thee have lifted up thy head and they have taken crafty counsel against thee against thy people and and consulted against thy hidden ones that have said come and let us cut them off of being a nation that the name of Israel will be no more in remembrance you see for they have consulted together with one consent they are confederate against thee you know and it's gonna name the nations right here you see um, the tabernacle of Edom you know the Edomites which are the so-called white people today and the Ishmaelites of the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines, you know, Gable and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. You see, you see, these are these other nations right here that cut, that came together, you know. And this is what it explains in um. Revelations, Revelations, um, eleven and you know, eleven and ten, you know, that they rejoice because they wanted to cut us off of being a nation. That the name of Israel will be, will be no more in remembrance. You know, keep us from knowing who we are. You know, that's why I said you know they're dead bodies, which means you know. We didn't know who we were as a nation, you know, it's a metaphor, 
It's not actually talking about a dead body in this, that's laying in the street. It's, it's a metaphor of us not knowing who we are as a nation or not knowing the truth, you know? So going on, going on to um, Revelations 11, 11, 11. So after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High, Yahweh entered into, into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them, which saw them, you see? So now these other nations in particular, you know, these um, world leaders of these other nations, you know, are in great fear, you know, starting with, you know, Esau, Edom, you know, the so-called white man, because now we're coming back to who we truly are as a nation. And it's talking about those three and a half days, it's talking about 350 years since we've been here in slavery. You know, this truth really started to come to life when Abba Bibbins came on the scene in 19, um, you know, right around the time of 1969, you know. That's when this truth began, that's when the breath of life began to come. You know, that's when the truth began, now that this great awakening began to come, you know. So it went from, you know, Abba Bibbins to, you know, the elders before, you know, GMS, which, you know, high priests, you know, high priest Yaikwab, you know, King Marshal, and high priest Arya, you know, from them all the way down to the head apostles of GMS right now, you know, to the rest of the um, elders, you know, the bishops, you know, the bishops and the rest of the elders of the other camps, you know. Now we we got the um we got the um breath of life. Now the breath of life entered back into us, which the breath of life represents this truth, represents who we are as a nation now. The nation of Israel. Now we're coming back to who we truly are as a people. Now. And the thing is this thing this truth it it cannot be, you know, refuted because this thing is of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You know, the, this truth is of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You know. And and it the only thing that it's doing is just getting that much stronger and stronger, you know, by the day. You know, let's get that in um Second Corinthians chapter thirteen verse eight. So this is um Second Corinthians chapter thirteen verse eight. For we can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth, you know. So nobody can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth, you know. This is why, you know, this truth is, is being spread like wildfire throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, starting with the head apostles of GMS on down, you know. You know, even though GMS, you know, from the head apostles of GMS on down, we're the most hated, but we're also the most global, you know, out of all these other camps, you know. GMS is the most global out of any is out of any you know Hebrew Israelite camp out there, um, Israelite group out there, you know. Even though that you have these other Israelite camps, you know, other Israelite you know groups out there, such as you know the Sakari, you know IUIC, GOCC, you know ISUPK, you know, you know the AOC. You know, the Sons of Thunder. You know, even though you, you have these other, um, these other, um, Israelite groups, but GMS is the most, GMS is more global than these other Israelite groups. You know, even though GMS gets the, um, the less, lesser views than these other Israelite groups, but GMS is the most global. You know? at the end of the day so that just shows you you know the true spirit you know like that's why you know from the head apostles of GMS on down we could I'm um, proud we can say that we have a hundred percent truth you know because GMS is the most global out of any Israelite group out there 
you know, and, and it's just facts, you know, it's just facts, you know, that just shows you that the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is dealing with GMS from the head apostles on down, you know, so let me read that again, for we could do nothing against the truth before the truth, you see, so nobody could do nothing against the truth before the truth, this is why, you know, nobody can confound us, you know, this is why it just gets stronger by the day, by the day, by the day, you know, this truth, because this is, this is not a thing of man, this is a thing of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you know, because it was once said that we weren't the Lord's people, right, but now we are the people, you know, of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, so let's go to Hosea, chapter 10. Now it's chapter 4, verse 10, so like you, I believe. Yeah, Hosea chapter 1, verse 10, so like you. So it says, it says here, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor number. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. You see? So it was said here in America that we're not the Lord's people. You know? That's why you got people such as Vocab Malone saying that we're not the true people, you know, and other flunkies and all of that. You know, this is this is that land here in America, you know. So right now it's gonna be said that we are the true people of the living power. How how are we the true people of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai? Because of the curses, because of Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter. You know, we're the only nation on this planet that fit those prophecies, that fit those curses. You know, they can't gang say or or come up I say that any other nation fit those prophecies, you know, but the nation of Israel, because we're the only nation that fit those prophecies, so they can't gang say and say that, and, you know, when you tell them, bring out the proof, then if we're not the people, you know, then who is? It's damn sure not them so-called, you know, not the small hat, <laughs> hatter, you know, the tunnel boys, it's damn sure not them. Because they own everything. They got the whole world in their hands. You know, they they own everything. So it's damn sure not them. They can't prove or pinpoint anywhere in history where they had a yoke of iron around their neck. They were sold as bond men and bond women. You know, they can't do that. There's no evidence. There's, it's just not there. You know, so it fits the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native and similar Indians. We are those people at the end of the day. So it's going to be said that we are the true people of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. You know. We are the we are the true people. Because at the end of the day, you can't overthrow this thing. You know, you can't gang say or say that, you know, we're not true, we're not the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, which we are. Um let's, let's get that in Acts. Because everything is all connected to prophecy, you know. It's not by a way of geography. It's by it's, it's by a way of prophecy. That's how we, we are the true people of Yahweh Hashem You know, it's prophecy. It's all according to prophecy. You know. So this is Acts chapter 5. This is Acts chapter 5, verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. 
For if this counsel or if this work be of man, it will come to naught. You see, so if this counsel, if this work that we're doing, you know, when we're out, when when we're out there prophesying on the highways and byways, you know, doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you know, if this working, if this counsel or work be of man, it will come to naught. So if this was a man-made thing, wouldn't you think that this this work would be done away with a long time ago, if it was man-made? You know, but this thing is is going at a hundred mile per hour, a thousand actually mile per hour. This thing is growing at an alarming rate. You know, you know this the Hebrew Israelites. You know that this truth. You know, brothers are pretty much waking up all over the world. You know, so this thing is growing. So if this thing was was of men, you know. If this thing was of men, why are there brothers, you know, pretty much all over the world teaching? If it was of men, you know, no, it's of the if it's of the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you know, the breath of life. You know that breath of life is entering in, you know, through these men, you know, from the head apostles of Kemos on down, starting with you know Abba Bivens, you know, that's how the breath of life is entering in, you know. Going back to prophecy. This is how we're remembering ourselves in, in the land of our captivity. So let's go to that real quick. Like going to um, Baruch chapter 2 verse 30. It says, For I knew they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. So in the land of our captivities, we're not remembering ourselves. We're not remembering that we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. We are the, we are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Now we're starting to come back to who we are as a nation. <coughs> you know? And there's nothing, you know, you flunkies such as Roll Cab Malones and you other flunkies that come up against the truth. There's nothing you can do about it. You know? This truth is just gonna steamroll you over, and it's already, and then it's already is spiritually, you know. That's why y'all having such a hard time, you know, keeping up with us, because you can't keep up, you know. <laughs> you're way behind, you know. You're trying your best to try to catch up and keep up, but you're way behind at the end of the day, you know. You're just too far behind, you know. You, you you vocab Malones and you other flunkies that come up against this truth, you know. You're just too far behind and you we end up, you know, you end up getting, you know, getting smoked. You know, by the men of the Lord, you know, from the head apostles of GMS to on down through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, you end up getting smoked and left behind because you just, you just, you can't keep up, you know. So let me read that again, um, Acts chapter 5, verse 38. And I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them, be, and let them alone, for as this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it, lest ye happily to be found, even to fight against the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So that's what y'all flunkies are doing. You're, you're fighting against Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, which is a losing battle. You know, because the Holy Spirit, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, is undefeated, all right? No one could defeat Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, all right? Zero losses, you know? The, the, the Holy Spirit is undefeated, all right? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is ultimately undefeated, you know? So with that, you know, hope the lesson was edifying. Giving all praises and glories due to Yahweh, Shem Yahshai, Shem Kwakwadash, Shalom.